Previously on Drenched, we said goodbye to our friend and crewmate Jesse before setting sail to the stunning island of Anguilla, where we discovered the true meaning of paradise. Like you, I knew that there were a few. Like an ugly, danger Chinese pen. You smart and dark and got your hair cut, I thought. Well, doesn't he look sweet? With a seductive pirate strut, you swept me right off my feet. A well lived love story suddenly began. Run for the booby! The very rare, very elusive, prickly pear brown footed booby! It had been such an amazing and relaxing weekend on Anguilla, but it was time to start making our way back to St. Martin, where we would be picking up some new crew members and tying up a few loose ends before starting our big trip south. Luckily for us, there was some great island hopping to be had on the trip back. Anguilla and its surrounding islands are known for being home to some of the most picturesque beaches in the world, and we were about to find out why. Setting foot on these beaches was like stepping into every dream you've ever had of paradise. Porcelain white sand that's softer than you ever thought possible. Perfect crystal clear turquoise water all around you. I literally couldn't believe my eyes. As we made the leisurely sail back to St. Martin, Nate had a few spare minutes to start on a project he'd been planning. Right, so today what I'm going to be doing is going to be making a lionfish holder for when I'm diving and spearing for lionfish, something safe that I can put them into where the uh, venomous barbs cannot get through and puncture me and uh, injure me. Right about now, you might be calling Nate a fish murderer, but here's a quick background on lionfish in the Caribbean. Lionfish are originally from Indo-Pacific waters, and after some aquarium keepers released some lionfish into Atlantic waters in the 90s, they began to rapidly spread down through the Caribbean. The lionfish is a pretty sexy fish, you might be thinking, so what's everyone's beef with this guy? They are voracious predators, and they feed heavily on juvenile crustaceans and fish species. This is having a devastating effect on local fish populations. A single lionfish can reduce juvenile fish populations in its area by 79%. And since lionfish have no natural predators in the Caribbean, they are reproducing like wildfire, magnifying the negative effects that have already been seen. So, scientists and conservationists are calling on us humans to hunt these animals and try and keep their numbers in check. Ready to do his part, Nate got to work making a carrier that would allow him to safely store all the lionfish after they'd been speared, so that the beautiful but very sharp and venomous barbs that decorate their bodies wouldn't sting him throughout the dive. It was a bit of trial and error, but when it was all said and done, Nate was ready to go on the hunt. So we're getting ready to go lionfish hunting. Uh, hopefully we get a bunch of them so we can make a big feast tonight and try one of our new recipes in our lionfish book, lionfish cookbook. Just for the record, I'm just here documenting. Uh, I'm not, not ready to murder a lionfish just yet, but maybe one day, we'll see. All right. Here we go. Our first stop was a little sunken tugboat right outside Simpson Bay. We didn't have any luck spotting lionfish, but it was still a pretty cool dive site. We decided to try our luck at a different site, a shallow reef not far from where we just dove. After wandering around for about 10 minutes, 
we finally found some little overhangs with some deep crevices, which is prime lionfish territory. And sure enough, there they were. Looking over your shoulder, boy. Thinking you should have let me have it all. If you're coming around again, tell me how you feel. The hunt was on. Nate pegged lionfish after lionfish. Eventually, once he scored this rather plump fellow right here, it became clear that it was time to end the dive as there wasn't any room left in the tube. No, whoa, whoa. I could be All right, what do you think, you cold-blooded killer, you? We're gonna need a bigger tube. There's some wiggling, oh man. It's like a murder, it's a tube of death right there. You know, you read the, that they're bad for the reefs and they're eating all the baby fish, but I just can't stab it in the face. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Okay, I feel like we should pay tribute to these dead fish. There we go, that's the catch of the day. Mm -hmm. Which one are you going to eat first? Um, the big one? The baby one. The baby it's one? Spice. It's probably the juiciest, <laughs> more tender of the fish. It's like veal, right? Like a yeah. baby cow is good mm -hmm. to eat. This one fish is going to have a fillet as big as all the other fish. That's like a serious now that's like a trout. That, that's a fillet. That is a fillet right there, guys. Here's our fillets. Sad to say that all of those lionfish that you saw earlier, that's what they come down to after we fillet them. <laughs> What are we doing? We're making Hawaiian lionfish. <clears throat> so, what I've got here is just a batter. Over here I've got almonds mixed with brown sugar, sesame seeds, and coconut. And I'm going to dip each one of these in some battered eggs. And then over here into the coconut concoction. And then at the end I'm going to put some of these pineapple and onion chunks on top. And uh, that's our recipe. Where's the stool? No promises Who's that this shovel? is any good. Can we do a lobster yeah. series next? Oh, here it is. That's delicious. Then it was time to pick up our new crew from the airport. Hi, ladies. What do you think of our ride home? This is how we do. This is the family car right here, apparently. <laughs> this is how we roll. I love it. <laughs> There's a lot of hair on this boat, everybody. We're gonna have clogged drains for freaking days. Aloha, guys! My name's Megan, I'm coming from Hawaii. My name's Kelly, and I'm coming from North Tahoe, California. Now that Megan and Kelly had arrived, it was time for a major cleanup on board. Actually, girls, than I thought it was gonna be. Anything? 
Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait, oh I see. That? It's like a little ring off of a, uh, like a jewelry clip. Seriously? The mystery of the toilet it. was not that, that exciting. Small? Just goes to show, I'm ladies, that, go. that uh, small boats can make big waves too. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. All right, next time there better be some buried treasure in there. I know, right? <laughs> the next few weeks flew by as we prepared to finally leave St. Martin for good and begin sailing south. We had a few video jobs to do, like filming commercials for a jet board company and a few restaurants around the area. It wasn't all work though. For having spent about four months in St. Martin, I have to admit, there were a lot of parts of the island we hadn't seen yet. So, with the clock ticking before our departure, we managed to squeeze in a few excursions we'd been wanting to take. All right, so we got a rental car, we got some wheels, haven't Coffee. driven a vehicle in months, and we don't know really where we're going, but we're gonna go see some butterflies. Don't worry, we got this map here. <laughs> these are our directions. We'll just <laughs> put these together, and that's where we're going. Butterflies. All right. He's a hairy little bugger. This thing is crazy looking. I think this end is the head. I think that's the butt. Boys like butterflies too. Yeah. What do you think? Should we all go get a butterfly tramp stamps after this? <laughs> <laughs> we just learned my favorite fact that I've learned in the last few months, which is that a group of butterflies is called a kaleidoscope. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> so this is where the butterflies are born. Oh, oh, that one just flew away for the first time. Is that a butterfly farm? Yeah, we can get a butterfly farm. And a puppy? I'll we'll take two. All right, we're done at the butterfly farm. Uh, where to next, everybody? Nudie Beach? <laughs> With our butterfly fix satisfied, we cruised over to one of the most famous nude beaches in the entire Caribbean, Orient Bay. This two-mile stretch of white sand and paradise is dotted with beach bars, restaurants, and of course, plenty of bodies with no tan lines. We're about to go cruise Orange Bay, the famous Orange Bay, where all the naked people are. And uh, we're gonna chill and maybe drink a bit and maybe naked too many. and get our boobies out. Woo! So, uh, quick recap, we just got naked on the world famous naked beach in the one part where you're not allowed to be naked. Yeah, told me to leave. We got soaking wet, <laughs> lost go my twin? sunglasses. Lost Kelly's sunglasses, but don't worry, she's got another pair. Yeah. Yes. yeah, but nobody lost their life, so everything's looking pretty good. With the heavy rain that rolled in out of nowhere, we decided to wait until the next morning to check out another really cool spot on the island we'd heard about. Um, an abandoned hotel <laughs> in the jungle. Yeah, we're pretty stoked. We got our, our friend uh, Yana with us. Hi, guys! She's joining <laughs> the rental car party. Woo! And yeah, we're so tall. Here we go. <laughs> Tempting hole. Tempting hole. Ooh. Ooh. It's haunted, right? 
Or is it just abandoned? And then they didn't have yeah. enough money to redo it. And then they spent like 20 years or something redoing it. <laughs> like a tour guide. I know. Being paid for this. <laughs> and, uh, and they just got it done. And like two years after that, another hurricane came and oh. like smashed it. Uh -huh. So, but the locals are saying that it's like haunted. Oh. It's, yeah. Scary stuff. Oh, we're going to go find out for ourselves. This place is actually massive and uh, everywhere we go we keep finding like a new new section to check out and now we are almost by the beach and it's actually really cool. I'm sure back in the day this hotel was pretty sweet. Yeah, the view would be beautiful. I know, right? New hotel. Yeah, this is definitely like the nicest room. This is where the, the fancy people stay. And like all scary things in life, it ended with a beautiful view that made the whole thing worthwhile. Join us next time as we welcome one final new crew member, stock up on beer, and finally cast the lines and set sail on our biggest adventure yet. Mm -hmm.